What up there, guys? This is Jugget82, and this is another beer review. And uh, basically, I found that uh, state laws in my state are going to be upgrading the beer from 6.0 to 8.0. So, I can dig it. Kind of roll, dig it. So, I found this out in the stores, I believe, next month. Also, the store I've been getting from different types of beers from. Uh, they have the mixer six pack. There's going to be a whole lot more different varieties of beers to choose from if you will. But yeah. So, the beer we'll be reviewing today is a beer called Abita Turbo Dog. That's something different for you guys. And it's. Let's see if I can get a little bit better for you guys. That's. Abita. Uh, Abita. I hope I'm saying it right. And it says it was established in. 1986. So let's look at the back. It says Turbo Dog is a dark brown ale brewed with pale caramel. And chocolate malts. And will will minty hops. This combination gives Turbo Dog its rich body and color. And a sweet chocolate toffee like flavor. So some chocolate deal. This will be my first yeah, first chocolate little burr. I'm kind of making this look because I mean, I've seen people say that they taste pretty good, but I don't know. Hmm. But we're going to taste it. Hopefully, we like it. But as always, for our beer reviews, we have our trusty mug. So let's see if this is a twist off cap. No. I think they don't give me a bottle, but I do so many of these beer reviews now. And I don't have a bottle of my actually pop it off my dresser drawer. <sighs> Back in a gif. Huh? I got the right light thing on. That's why the light keeps going in and out. But let's. Whoa. <sighs> Strong, really, really strong smell. The first thing to hit you is the chocolate. You immediately smell the chocolate. It's there. It's not going anywhere. There's a lot of sweet smells coming out of it. And it's, that's from that's just from the nose. I can feel it go through the nose and taste the tip to the tongue. And, and all the that good stuff goes to people that we like the pudding. But let's get ready to pour some of that. Doing something in there. But look at this head. Look at that. And the first thing that gets you about this head is it's kind of like a. Let's see. It's kind of like a multi brown kind of color. It's a brownish color. Let's put it for you guys. Uh, But yeah, it's got a mouthy kind of brownish color. Um, of course, it's really dark. You can't even see my finger. Um, let's get a little more here. Let's see what the rest of it. There we go. So, let's chug some of that. Weird. Hmm. I guess because this is my first time tasting one of these particular beers. Every time it hits my my tongue, it has this weird. Oh yeah, it's gonna make me go, oh crap! Like a weird 
punch taste to it. Like it's just punching me every time I taste it. So it has a really coffee taste. It says it says toffee like flavor. Toffee. But I'm saying coffee. Um it's definitely a rich body. It's very thick. It has a very thick taste to it. And it's still on my tongue. It's not going anywhere. Um There it is again. So when I taste it, it makes me back up a little bit. I'm not really feeling this beer that much. I'm not gonna lie. It's um the it I I mean this might be a turn off for me to even want to try another chocolate beer tasted beer and because I don't know, this just it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. There's another one I've actually had that's the same. It's an uh, Beta, and it's a purple. I forgot what it. That's pretty decent. This one right here, I mean, it's okay because beer because it has a this has a bitter, 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 bitter taste to it. But I'm just not feeling it. Mm. I don't think you'll feel it here. But then again, to whom is on opinion? Most people like really, really strong, rich beers. So if you like those, you'll definitely feel this. <sighs> Whew. I'm not going to be able to chug that beer real quick because that's a beer you take your time on. Because <laughs> it's just every time I drink it, it's like it's got a, it's got a strong hit. Uh, it's like a beer I'm going to have to probably just chill back and, and drink. It seems that, uh, yes, I yarned. Oh, but, wow. This particular beer itself, um, Bita, um, Turbo Dog, it's a turbo, all right. It's uh, 5.6 out by volume. Um, we're going to say this, I'm just going to say it like this. Um, really, really bitter. Can't say I'll buy this one again because it just really doesn't have that ugh, taste to it. And yeah, this is how much I have left. And I'm afraid if I chug it, I might pass out. There it is again. Backing me back. It's backing me back, man. Now, yeah, this is a no go for me. I beat ya, but at least it's not seven pecan. But I beat the, beat the uh, turbo dog. Turbo dog. Sounds like a crime fighter or something. Turbo dog. But yeah. This is Jugga Day 2 saying, if you like this kind of strong, chocolatey like beers, it might be for you. It's just not for me. This is Jugga Day 2 signing off.